Hello, I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. Today I'd like to show you a theory I've got on the origins of the F-holes found on the violas from the late 15th century. Have you noticed the shape of the holes on the modern violin? They're called F-holes because they appear to resemble a cursive F-shape. The same shaped sound holes are also found on the cello and upright bass, too. Stringed instruments require a hole for the sound to escape its sound box or its body. Common sound hole shapes include a simple round circle, a C hole, which predates the 15th century, or an F hole, which is post 15th century. On guitars or mandolins, a single round or oval hole is usually directly under the strings. C holes are found on early stringed instruments such as the rebec, the viol, and the lira. They are pairs of holes placed symmetrically on both sides of the strings. Most photos of or paintings of these instruments have C holes. However, some viola de braco from the late 15th century have F-holes. The F-hole is predominant on violins from the 16th century made by the Amati family. Andrea Amati, his brother, Niccolo and Andrea were his uh, family. Since it preceded the standard violin of Amati, the F-hole may be a design of Renaissance thinking. Renaissance idealism was obsessed with golden measure in nature. The circle or sphere is considered a construct of sacred geometry. If you take the shape of an F-hole, it is two opposing Fibonacci spirals. Sound is the vibration of matter. Anything in motion makes a wave, which is a sound. How is this connected to the F-hole shape? A viola maker during the Renaissance was likely inspired by peeling a clementine in a single peel and found the area of a sphere flattened out is an F-hole. As you can see, if you peel a clementine the right way, the F-hole is the shape of a sphere.